Hey guys, I'm Kirk. Today I wanted to showcase a couple of RimWorld mods for 2020 that expand on the game and add a lot of new and unique items, enemies, research and other things that follow a single theme. Keep in mind that these expansions will quite drastically change how RimWorld looks and plays and it might make your life much harder. Note that I'm not affiliated with any of the mod creators and I'm not promoting these mods because I was asked to. All of these mods are mods I enjoy playing with and have done so for a while. In fact, if you watch any of my playthroughs in the past, or you're an experienced player who's been playing for years, then you've probably seen most of these mods in action before. Also, you can find links to all of these mods on Steam Workshop in the description below. Now, without further ado, let's begin. First mod on the list is Glitter Tech, a mod that builds upon the rumors of high-tech glitter worlds that exist in the RimWorld universe. It adds a ton of advanced late game buildings, items and resources that aim to extend the gameplay and difficulty way beyond what Vanilla RimWorld has to offer. The mod adds new resources that you can find in the world or craft yourself, like titanium and silicon, that are then used for creation of high-tech energy weaponry and defenses, with powerful turrets and automatic mortars that can turn any raiders into soil and green in seconds. Unless, the raiders came from a glitter tech corporation and are in fact highly geared and deadly commandos that will make your colonists look like just a bunch of mere tribals. There's a huge amount of new content glitter tech adds from advanced power generation options to production of glitter tech medicine, advanced research, medical beds and a plethora of cool new workbenches that allow you to experiment with the new crafting recipes. If you're looking for a different yet very rewarding mod to enhance your vanilla playthrough, then Glitter Tech is the one for you. Lovecraftian horrors are upon us in Call of Cthulhu, a collection of mods that add monsters to haunt your dreams, empower your colonists to establish a cult to worship the unspeakable things from beyond, and add new factions who are equipped to deal with the cosmic horrors that can be deadlier than anything you've faced before. Cults allow you to establish a cult, worship monstrous deities like Cthulhu itself, sacrifice animals or even humans in return for powerful spells and much more. Keep in mind that not all of your colonists will appreciate such worship and might start plotting to deal with the leader of the cult themselves. Factions adds three new factions that each fight the cosmic horrors in their own way. Coastal fishing towns might use hooks and harpoons, the agency will be rocking trench coats and fedoras while wielding revolvers, and the last platoon is a unit of lost Great War soldiers who find themselves on the rim. Cosmic Horrors adds new minor Lovecraftian races that will haunt your colonists. Creatures like Star Vampires, Shoggoths, Deep Ones and more will suddenly start appearing on the rim, and you better be prepared to deal with them quickly. Last but not the least, Elder Things adds a new playable race of Lovecraftian creatures who decide to strike it out on their own. All in all, a great set of mods for those that enjoy the creepy universe created by H.P. Lovecraft and a nice boost in difficulty for those who enjoy more challenge. We face more monsters in Alien vs Predator, a mod that adds a playable Yotia race of predators with their own research, weapons and armor. They live for the hunt and can mark themselves with the blood of their successful kills. They also have special equipment only they can wear and weapons like shoulder cannons, smart discs and plasma pistols to hunt the most dangerous prey out there, the Xenomorph. Xenomorphs are a new extremely dangerous threat. They will hunt you down and try to take your colonists to become the host for more of their kind. Even in death, they are dangerous, as their blood will hurt anyone that is in spray range or might walk over it, and it will even dissolve your butcher's table if you decide to take them apart. But it could be worth it, as their tail spikes make for a formidable weapon. Do not take the Xenomorph threat lightly, and if you ever see a queen, you better run, and you run fast. It might not be enough. Who doesn't love the epic Lord of the Rings saga? Well, now you can make your RimWorld playthrough epic as well with Lord of the Rims expansion. Note that the Third Age removes everything past the medieval research tag, all items, incidents and tech, so you won't be able to play as Frodo with a Doomsday rocket launcher. Mithril is a new rare resource akin to Plasteel, while Iron replaces steel in the mountains, but the mod does add a blacksmith bench that allows you to smelt steel. Of course, we can't have Lord of the Rings without hobbits, elves and dwarves. 
They're separate mods that add all three of these races, all with their special weapons, equipment and research. If you really want to play as Frodo with a rocket launcher though, there's also the unlimited version that doesn't remove any advanced tech, so enjoy! If you want to spice up your Lord of the Rims playthrough a bit more, or you just like magic in general, then a Rim World of Magic is just the mod for you. It adds over 30 new magic and fighter classes, each with their own unique spells and abilities. Each class also has unique progression tree, where they can learn new abilities as they level up their class. Your characters can be mages, priests, paladins or druids, but also wicked necromancers, summoners, warlocks, death knights and many more. Fighters can be gladiators, blade dancers, snipers, rangers and more. Mod also adds new equipment and magical research, new enchantments, gen crafting and new cool events. All of this together makes the flow of the game completely different. Tribal raiders that might have been a joke in the past might now come with a couple of master magicians that can burn your colony to a crisp in no time. But of course, your colonists can become extremely powerful masters of arcane arts as well, so next time it's gonna be their village that burns. If pure magic is not for you, then how about the Force? Star Wars The Force adds new abilities to those sensitive to the Force. There's new powers for both light and the dark side. Force Heal, Mind Trick and Force Ghost will help those walking on the light side, while Force Choke, Force Lightning and Force Storm await those who dare join the dark side. And some can be used by both. To spice things up, you can also add Star Wars factions, which add the Galactic Empire and Rebel Alliance, that come with new weapons and armor, akin to what you could see in the movies. Blasters, Viber Swords, Mandalorian armor, and more. But what would Star Wars be without lightsabers? Fully functional lightsabers add a variety of your favorite melee weapons that can cleave enemies in two and deflect bullets. You can also craft them yourselves. There's many more Star Wars mods out there that add various minor Star Wars races and animals if you really want to get fully immersed. Did you ever wonder why there's no cities on the Rim? Well, me neither, but now I can go visit them with Rim Cities, a mod that adds randomly generated cities to the world map, which are similar to other settlements but much bigger in scale, more populated and better defended. But they also have a lot more plunder, should you choose to assault one. There are of course also friendly cities, where you can go trade if you want, or steal if you're not too worried about faction relations. Beware, even the most friendliest of factions would not look too kindly on you if you tried to steal all of their medicine. There's also abandoned cities out there, where you can compete with other scavengers for that fat booty. Or you can also start a game as a resident in one of the cities, and try to coexist with your new friends, or turn into a nightmare on their streets. No matter how you play, Rim Cities offer an exciting new challenge with a plethora of new gameplay opportunities. Onwards to a mod that has been around for years and it adds a huge amount of new content. Rim Snow is a mod designed to make your life on the Rim tougher by adding a huge variety of new weapons, armor and crafting related to them. There are four interstellar companies, each with their unique ways to kill you, your enemies and each other. If you want even more variety, you can add Feral, which adds a scavenger-like faction with their corresponding weapons and armor, and Federation, which adds an extremely aggressive and dangerous advanced faction that is out there to get you and gut you. There's also a security pack if you want to turtle down and see if you can outlast your enemies, and Hans Vanilla pack that adds more vanilla-like Rimsnarl weapons that fit a niche between the OG equipment and new fancy arsenal added by the mod. Storyteller Pack adds three new storytellers to make your life on the rim extra difficult. And last but not the least, there's also Rim Hair, if you want to look fancy. In short, there's way too much to talk about here. Rim Snow is a huge expansion filled with deadly firepower that should make every gun enthusiast very happy. If you want to play a god, then Genetic Rim should be right up your alley. This mod adds a lot of new research and crafting that will let you extract genes from the animals of the rim and then combine them to create new useful and less useful hybrids. You can also use them to create human and animal implants to enhance your new creations. Or make your colonists lay eggs. 
You can also enrich your animals and create powerful paragons, which are more evolved versions of base creatures. Animal control research also lets you directly control your animals like they were colonists and use their new special abilities. There's also a new endgame victory condition if you finish the architect project instead of building a spaceship. Genetic Rim really shines when you add mods like Dinosauria, Megafauna, Alpha Animals or even Cosmic Horrors mentioned earlier. You can then combine all of these new animals into a plethora of new, exotic, beautiful or all-out crazy creations to spice up your gameplay. Let's end this list with one of my favorite mods out there. Rim Atomics adds nuclear power and weapons and lets you create your very own Chernobyl disaster. It adds a whole new research tree that will guide you through the long and difficult process of splitting the atom and discovering its amazing power. You can build vast cooling systems, turbines and reactors in various sizes. Feed them uranium and they'll keep your colony powered up for years to come. Just be aware of its potential dangers that come with such amazing power. There's also a whole slew of new defensive turrets to protect your new power plant. Who doesn't like turrets that can shoot over a wall or cook enemies alive? Or how about a good old Tesla coil? More advanced defensive systems allow you to detect any raids days before they happen or scramble enemy drop pods so they scatter in a wide area. Or how about that big one? A nuke? Rim Atomics adds some of the best power generation that you can find out there and some of the best defenses to protect your colony. Just beware not to blow up your reactor. Honorable mention to a mod called Save Our Ship 2. It's an amazing mod that completely alters the game and it deserves its own video showcase, for sure. But that's all I've prepared for today. I hope you found some of these mods interesting and that you're going to check them out. I know there's hundreds if not thousands of RimWorld mods out there that deserve to be mentioned, so I'd be interested to hear your top 10 lists. Post them in the comments below or join my Discord channel where we can discuss your picks. Also, if you're new to the channel and you enjoy this video, feel free to subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the new videos. You can also join my heavily story-focused playthrough where you follow the adventures of the Grey Mouse Company, who are trying to extract a valuable prisoner of the planet and you can submit your character and their story to join them. But for now, thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you next time.